So at noon, we do want to get a better look at the winter weather set up for this weekend. I'm Jackie Pascal. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm here with meteorologist Jacqueline Shearer. You are tracking the latest information for everybody. Yeah. We're just back there, pounding right. away, <laughs> looking ahead. I know it's still kind of early, though. There's yeah. still a lot that we don't know, but what, what do we know? Well, you'll be seeing me doing that for the next couple of days Perfect. here, all the way until it gets here, and even after that point. You know, that's just kind of how winter storms in the Carolinas go. So here's a look at radar and satellite, and now we're going to start getting some really good data in better than what we've had for the past few days because you can see along the west coast this little blob here that's what we've been waiting for the storm has made the landfall so to speak so now we've got a better idea of what it's going to do as it approaches us the track still a little bit ill-defined though that's for sure so we are definitely still waiting for a few questions to be answered but we're getting closer to some of those answers but I want to show you we've got that far for the storm to travel still and of course it doesn't take a direct path so we've got a while before that happens. And in the meantime, we do have a couple showers out here that I wanted to let you know about. Now, primarily, we're looking at rain here because temperatures are in the 40s and in the 50s at this point. We do have some spots in the mountains where it's mixed at times. And as we get into the overnight hours, a couple of flurries here and there. This will not be a significant event. We're just talking about some light snow showers here and there as we head towards the evening hours. In the foothills, overall pretty dry as we head towards the afternoon. We had a couple sprinkles here and there throughout the morning, but now we're drying out. The triad looking pretty similar as we head through the next couple of hours. Those sprinkles go away for us. We have some cloudy skies into the evening and we have temperatures that stay warm enough that we're just talking about rain through this event. Now here's a look at the weekend storm here. Our current thinking is that we're looking at a Saturday night through Sunday event and then maybe some slick spots even continuing into Monday morning. Mostly snow north and west of our forecast area, a wintry mix in the southern and the eastern portions of our forecast area and the impact will be a potential for high to totals of snow and ice and also some strong winds. We're going to take a look at what we know now and what you can prepare for coming up. Well, we do know that the North Carolina Department of Transportation says all of their treatment and snow equipment is ready in case of that wintry weather. Preparation, in fact, starts in the fall, so officials say now it's just a waiting game. We are told all crews are planning to work long hours this weekend if needed to make sure those roads stay safe. DOT says it will make decisions about pre-treating the roads closer to the weekend and when that storm actually hits. Winston-Salem, though, we know they are getting ready for the potential winter weather headed our way as well. The city's field operations department shared these pictures on social media. Workers mixing up brine to pre-treat major streets in the city. They say they have plenty of salt on hand, as you can see in this big pile here, to stay ahead of any slick spots this weekend. Crews have also attached salt spreaders to their dump trucks. They say they will mount plows on those trucks sometime this evening. Duke Energy crews are also getting ready for our potential winter weather. A spokesperson for the utility says a lot of prep work has already been done, such as trimming trees. Right now, field crews are getting equipment staged to be ready to respond to outages once that storm has moved out. Duke Energy is monitoring the storm, it says, but it's challenging for them to know where to send crews because of this uncertainty of the forecast track. But what I would say the biggest thing customers can be doing right now is thinking about what their plan is in the event that they lose power. Um, it's going to be cold for a few days, you know, in this stretch of, of time here. And, you know, if you rely on electricity for medical needs, making sure you have a plan in place for where you could relocate in the event that you lost power, recognizing that if we do see uh, dangerous road conditions, that could be a challenge. And take a screenshot of this number here. I'll give you a moment to grab your phone. This is to report an outage to Duke Energy. 800-769-3766. You can also text out to 57801. That's again to report an outage. And you can also stay up to date with the changing forecast in the weather section of our WXAI 12 News app. You can find hour by hour forecast, the interactive radar there. We also have a list of closings and delays. If you need to report a closing, by the way, you will need a snow code. You can find instructions on how to get one on our website, WXAI12.com. Just click on the article about reporting weather related closings.